Greetings, RC Model Geeks, and here we are, in the shed. In the shed, two days late, thanks Cole. Sorry mate, I, I was feeling a bit under the weather guys, but I'm back. He's back, Literally. back with a vengeance. Yes. So, time to get on to this plane again. Yeah. Um, what are we going to do today? Oh, I know. Right. Well, uh, while Mad Colin wasn't here, I got slightly carried away and I started doing some 3D printing. Um, and I made this uh, bracket here, all right, for fuel filter. Okay. And that is going to mount onto the firewall somewhere. Uh -huh. uh, we'll show that when we do it. Yeah. No point. But sure. it's going to mount on the firewall. So that's that, right? Brill, yeah. ready to go. Then I got this super small switch. <laughs> <laughs> it's really tiny. It's really tiny switch, this, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Um, for the radio, um, on off switch, obviously. And also, it's got a charge port built into it. Lovely. Yeah, with a slidey cover on it. Nice. Now this normally mounts through something, yeah, and it's got like a little plate, you know, that it slides onto and sandwiches it together and screws it all in tight. Now, um, it would mean we'd have to cut a hole into something. I want to keep the switch inside the plane, not outside, right? And so there's nowhere uh, that's ideal or easy to get to to cut the wood, and it's just going to look like an abortion, right? Uh -huh. um, so, what we decided, because we put this uh, throttle servo up here, yeah, uh, we've got a spare servo hole. Yeah. Right? So we can use that servo hole, because this is smaller than uh, the size of a servo, but only just, uh, to mount that. So with that in mind, I 3D printed this plate. Mm -hmm. Okay, which is basically the form factor of a servo with the four holes there, right? Um, and then it's basically going to sandwich like that. Well, actually, it's not. It's going to go like that, and then that is going to screw into where the servo would have gone. Yeah. Yes, that's what Bob's your uncle. In mind, it? And then that's that's right by the door as well. Yeah. So it's easy to get to. Uh, it will go, you know, basically down in there. Yeah. Um, Brill. Yeah. So that's where we are so far today. Thanks for all the comments on the uh, uh, carb. All right, and the fact that you can turn it round. Uh -huh. Now, yes, that is very true. If we flipped it round, then the needle valve comes up the top. Yeah. All right, and. I didn't really want it coming out the top, you know, because it just looks like there's a piece of wire sticking out the top. Yeah, it looks a bit... Right? Yeah. So, you know, when it's down underneath, it's a bit more hidden out of the way. Yeah. You know, putting this hole through wasn't a problem, right? And, of course, if we had flipped it round, then the idle screw would have been where the needle valve is, so it still needed a hole. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, to be able to get to the idle screw. Mm-hmm. Or oh, sorry, the idle mixture screw, right? Um, which would probably have been even more awkward, yeah, than having the needle valve because you know you've got to try and get up under there, see where the slot is, be a, a, a whack it in. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's a bit fiddly. Um, yeah, it's just a bit more fiddly, but um, yeah, it would have still needed a hole. So this was the easiest way to uh, you know to basically uh, do it. Um, and it will look nice with that hidden out of the way anyway. Um, one of the other things we've got to do, we've got to put in the push rod for the uh, nose leg steering. The outer tube is already in there, uh, we've just got to put the wire through mm -hmm. uh, for that. So we need to do that. And then of course we've got to put all the servos in still. Um, yeah, so I mean it, it's, it's coming together. Um, but like I said, you know, like factory, but better. Yeah. Uh, so it's going to take a little bit of uh, a little bit of time. Uh -huh. um, now, interesting. <laughs> I had a uh, I had an email a couple of days ago from a guy who uh, who watches the channel. 
and I will uh, I'll read it to you. Okay, it says, "Dear Captain Rob, I'd like to set you a challenge. I lived for RC model aircraft in the early 70s and 80s, but I lost my eyesight totally in 1986." I have, however, still been able to fly RC aircraft and was wondering whether I could challenge the team at some blindfold flying. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, obviously, using a buddy box for safety. Yes. Um, yeah. What do you guys think? Should we, uh, should we have a go at some uh, blindfold flying? Definitely, yes. Yeah. Well, I mean, that I mean, Bix the Phil flies like that anyway, doesn't he? He, he does. can't see the plane. <coughs> He's been flying like that for hey, the past yeah. three years. Yeah, well, you're going pretty close, normal, mate. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> yes, well, that'll be something to look forward to uh, mm. in in the future. Yeah. Um, yeah, could be fun, eh? Yeah. Um, yeah. Maybe we could then set a challenge to all you guys out there as well to have a go. That'd be. Wicked. People sending in their little bits of film on yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. blindfold I mean, flying. If nothing else, there'd be some great crashes, wouldn't there? Oh, there'd be some tremendous ones, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, yes. yeah, that's what is uh, happening at the uh, Geeks Shed at the moment. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're going to get on, aren't we, Cole? Yeah. Um, do a bit of bodging and come back to you. Oh, oh. Hi, guys. <laughs> right. So I've got hold of the camera. So we're coming to put a servo in. Now, there's the servo that we're obviously using. We've got the arm on there. Uh, now, uh, on, on Glow, generally, you like to use the rubber mountings on the, uh, on the servos. You don't really need to do it on electric because it's so smooth. But with the vibrations of Glow, it's good to have the rubber mountings. Now... I've seen this done wrong so many times. So I'm going to do the wrong bit first. So Colin's going to do it wrong as well, aren't you, mate? Yeah, yeah. Well, hopefully not, but... Um, so, yeah, go on, put the rubbers in, mate. I can see you've done this before. Mm, yeah, a few times. Yeah. nice now what people cock up is these ferrules here you see those four ferrules now the principle of this is you're you want to trap those little rubbers between the screw and the ferrule and the way it goes is basically like that oh can you uh, yeah yeah Hold it together there, mate. You can only see the whole thing. Right. So let me put it up there because it'll focus better. That's it. There it is, right. Now you see you create this eye. Yeah? And that is what you want to do. If you do it the other way, if the screw comes in from the other side, put one in wrong, mate. Okay. And we'll demonstrate. There's a wrong one. Oh, the right hand's just escaped. The right hand's just escaped, but oh, it has as well. Make another one. There we go. Make a right and then that's the a, wrong that's one. That's a wrong one. You see, that none of this is planned. No. Yeah. Oh fuck. Oh, oh fucking hell. <laughs> hey, ain't there day today? It's not. You got a bit of editing to do on this one, mate. Right? <laughs> yeah, I know. Right. Fucking right. right. We're Try shit, aren't we? All right. <clears throat> Right, have you got a right one or a wrong one there, mate? <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't see because your hands are right, that, that's a Right, that's a right one. Now uh, make a wrong one with that one. What, with two screws? <laughs> no, <laughs> with the, the final ferrule that we had. Right, OK. Before it falls down into the abyss down here with the rest right, of them. This is a wrong one. <laughs> right, don't run away, guys. Right, right. there you go. Now... There's a right one and a wrong one. <laughs> now, the wrong one, all right, there, I'm trying to look at this point and talk at the same time. The wrong one there 
when you do that screw up, what's going to happen is that ferrule is just going to pull into the wood. All right? Whereas when you do it this way, the screw stops uh, at the at the ferrule there. And so you don't over tighten and squash the rubber. That was the whole point of this yeah. debacle. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so that is the right way to do it. Yeah. Anyway, uh, let's go and find all the bits and we'll uh, come back to you, eh, Carl? Where are they? <laughs> I don't know. They're looking stuck to things in there Magnets now. Magnets and that, yeah. Yeah, yeah nightmare. <sighs> right, after much soul searching, um, uh, there they are in. It's better I put my glass on, I can see. So you can see that the, the flange, there you go, of the top hat is underneath the servo. Yeah, and then obviously when a screw goes in, do you want to put a screw in? Brain <laughs> crash. Rob was here. Rob was here. <sighs> Nightmare. Running out of room. Yeah, I need a bigger workshop, guys. Right, get that in there. There you go. That's how it. Uh, that's how it sits. Right. So we're going to get that one uh, screwed in because then we can connect up the uh the nose wheel steering etc etc yeah it's all good stuff hey eh? yeah we'll come back to you when we've got it in there perfect right yeah yeah okay so <laughs> yes interesting so there it is right servos in there all we've got to do now is get some screws in there and so we'll just drop one in like that Wiggle it around a bit. And as you can see, I've got small hands, so I can go straight in. Oi! Now, these ones are actually amazingly magnetic. The other ones we had earlier weren't. I'm afraid I'm going to have to get in front of it for a minute until... OK. ...it, it like, starts. Do you know what I'm going to have to do? Uh-huh. Where they've painted it, they've blocked the holes up. Right. So I think we need that super duper special tool. Okay. And then we just need to hand drill out those holes. Yeah. And clear them because they're yeah. blocked up. Okay. Be back right in back. a minute. We're not having much luck today. No, we're not, are we? No. We will um, be victorious if we preserve. And Power preserve. to the people. Yes. We have accomplished so little today. Mm-hmm. Have we not, Mad Colin? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I mean the uh, those servos were a nightmare. Yeah, uh, but not for the reasons you would think they were a nightmare. Right, actually putting screws in and stuff like that is easy in there, and you can screw those servos in. Lovely. Unfortunately, the wood that they screw into ain't very thick. No. Right, and where they've lasered the holes, the holes are probably a bit big in diameter. Yeah. So when you put a screw in there, it doesn't grip. No, not at all. Okay. <laughs> so we had the the wonderful job of uh, attempting to glue in some extra supports underneath where the servo screw mountings are. Did we not, Mad Colin? Yes, we did have. Uh, it was good fun, wasn't it? That it was an epic uh, journey. Yeah, that was that was an afternoon of fun, wasn't it? <laughs> oh god! I uh, had to glue each one separately, and then wait for the glue to go off, and then uh, drill the holes through. That's it. With a little hand dibber. Um, look, they're in there. All right. Sorry, you didn't get the step by step, screw by screw account, but they're in there. Yeah. <clears throat> and the um, the nose leg steering is also connected up. And yeah, throttle. and the throttle is permanently connected up, and, and that all works. It's not ideal how I'd really like it, but you know, is what it is. It'll work. Hmm. Um, well, so, ah, yes, the seat. Oh yeah, the seat. The dreaded. <laughs> there is an engineering failure just, in, just <laughs> in the <little> seat. <laughs> just a little one. Now, this, this how the nose leg and the steering is done is. How it shows in the book right and the idea of this seat is that this seat sits over those servos unfortunately it can't because if Colin loves to look over here 
uh, where this uh, tube comes out with the push rod for the uh, for the nose leg steering, right? Just happens to be where this bar is uh, for the seat. Yeah. So there's no way that that can actually go over that. Not in a month of Sundays. No, not in a month or Sunday or two months of Sundays. Well, actually, three. Mm, yeah, exactly. So uh, we'll have to do like a little joggle plate here so that we keep this supported but it's got a cut out that will sit over that that tube and that is factory it's like factory but worse yeah <laughs> it's like factory but worse <laughs> yeah <laughs> not like better it. not better um, no. yeah so we've got to do that I won't do that today I don't think do it tomorrow we're, we're a bit fucked now aren't we we're knackered Getting old, you know, guys. Oh, We're not spring chickens, you know. Well, you're not. Hey. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh, yeah. I mean, you know, that is uh, how far we've really got today. It's like zero in progress. But that's the worst part, we reckon now. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, we don't think there could any be anything worse than that. Yeah, it's in a confined space in the, and in the building of it. You know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, that's it really, isn't it, for the day? I think. Yeah. Um, keep getting bloody glass fibre itching. Are you still getting glass fibre itching? Yeah, uh, I had a shower and uh, changed the clothes. The old clothes I put in the wash. And I've and, washed mine loads of times. And, and I still get the occasional prick. Yeah. I wasn't going to say that, but <laughs> I was, was going to say needle oh, stab. Man, I, have to keep doing, I keep doing this, yeah, and it's like, yeah, it, it, it must, be, must be still stuff in the in, in the atmosphere, on stuff around here, yeah, yeah, but not not as bad as the day I was actually cutting it. No, no, that was bad, wasn't it, mate? Yeah. They could have ripped your skin off, couldn't you? Yeah, it's horrible. It's like yeah. itching sandpaper. It's like you know when you go up in the attic and you get that fiberglass. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. Now, everybody who's watching has just started yawning. <laughs> if you started yawning, put a comment in the comments. Yes, down in the comments. <laughs> yeah, and don't forget, like, comment and subscribe. Yes. And hit that bell icon yes. to be notified of future videos By the RC when Colin point. hasn't got a bad back. Yes, that's right. Uh, what are you doing? Are you coming tomorrow, mate? Um, yeah, why not? There you go. Um, yeah, but are you coming over here as well? Uh, yeah. Oh, good. I'll, right. let, I'll, I'll let you know, um, later on. When I'll set right, well, we probably won't have a video tomorrow <laughs> then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, well. Uh, so, you, you'll know, if there's not a video, it's because Mad Colin is laying in bed. Yes. With his bad back. But if you do get a video, we'll be here. We will. Yeah. I expect we will. Yeah, probably. Um, yeah, I want to get this thing going now, mate. I'm, I'm getting bored of just sticking around with it. Yeah. It, it, needs, it needs to be knocked out now. <laughs> yes. I need to knock one off. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> did, did you want to mention anything about the fuel tank? Not really. We haven't right. put it in yet, have we? No, I just. Um, here is the fuel tank. It's Oop. there. It's, it's going in there like that. That's it. Uh, and that's got that pipe's going through there. Uh, we showed the um, the other thing, didn't we? The fuel filter. The fuel filter. Oh, not since you did the uh, 3D print. Did we not? Yes, we have. I'm Are sure. we? I'm sure. Uh, yeah. That's obviously going on there. Yeah, we talked about it. That's going on the firewall. Yes. And then pipe into there. Pipe out of there to there. Works brilliantly. Used it exactly on the uh, Super Buccaneer. Works lovely, jubbly. Okay. Uh, and that's as far as we got. So right. uh, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, see you all uh, tomorrow. Maybe not. Yes. Yeah, see you all tomorrow. Maybe not. Might be. Yeah. We'll have to see. Yes. So it's goodbye from Mad Colin over there. And Leave my ear alone. It's goodbye from. <laughs> Take care, guys. See you all, hopefully, tomorrow. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching Captain Rob's RC Model Geeks. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to click that like button. 
If you want to see more of the same type of videos, don't forget you can subscribe. If you want to support us, you can use PayPal, paypal.me forward slash RC Model Geeks. If you want to contact us, you can email us, rcmodelgeeks at gmail.com. We look forward to seeing you in the next video.